Hey guys, okay, so today we are learning about domain and range. Question one says, what is the set of all x values in a function? We would call this the domain of the function. What is the set of all outputs in a function? We would call this the range of a function. And wherever you can find the domain and range will depend upon what type of a function you're looking at, right? So if you're looking at a graph of a function, If you're trying to look for the domain, you would be looking for the x. Oh, that's a really big highlighter. Okay. You'd be looking for the x values that the graph spans. And if you're looking for the range of the function, you would be looking for the y values that the graph spans. Okay. Um, if you're looking on a map where the arrows are coming out of, that will be your domain where the arrows are going into, or the outputs, that will be your range. And then in a table, of course, the x column will be the domain, and the y column will be the range.